Hey guys, it's Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project doing a space weather update. AR2673 is turning around the limb and she is full of action. Look at this video. It's amazing. I want to give you some good shots of this. It's about to come into our space here. Here's the last 48 hours. And you can see the activity here. Look at these ropes. There's a couple little filaments that are uh, dancing around. Take a look up top here at these plasma filaments. And we got a nice one here. But we've got an active sun during a solar minimum. And we saw what happened last time this came through. It was quite brutal, a blasting off a couple of X flares, dozens of M flares, extremely active. And we were waiting for this southern coronal hole to hit us. And what I wanted to talk about real quick tonight is a couple things, how you guys can go check out space weather. There are three major sites, spaceweather.com, suspicious observer site, spaceweathernews.com, and there's also spaceweatherlive.com. Take your choice. They each have different uh, advantages and disadvantages on what to use. I'm going to provide you with all these links in the bottom so you can bookmark it and you can know how to look at the sun. Now, I prefer suspicious observers um, for the data sets that he has, and I prefer spaceweather.com for the blog type atmosphere where they actually uh, update things on NOAA's and NASA's predictions. And I want to show you an example of that. It says co-rotating interaction region, NOAA forecast, forecasters estimate a 40% chance of polar geomagnetic storms on September 24th. So if you check out what's going on right now on the magnetometer, here is that magnetic storm they're talking about happening first and we're also in electron bombardment we're in a level two three uh electron storm here we just went into it six hours ago and where's the other graph there it is and you can see the solar wind here the temperature has increased the speed has increased up to around 400 and the density has decreased. This is what happens when solar wind streams hit us. And right before that, the magnetometer went off, just like as it was predicted here by NOAA. And the, these co-rotating interactional regions, or CIRs, are transition zones between slow and fast-moving solar wind streams. So here's the slow and fast-moving streams. Here's that, what happens at that interactional zone. The magnetometer goes off, electron flux, and then the solar wind speed spikes. The temperature goes up and the density decreases. So that's what should be happening, that's what they predicted, and that's what we got. But I'm most interested in this sunspot that's headed back around. Why am I interested in that? Because geomagnetic activity affects weather here on Earth. There is a connection between the magnetic fields of the sun and our planet. And there's also a connection between the energetic particles on the sun and our Earth in the form of cosmic rays. So when these sunspots produce coronal mass ejections or CMEs, they shoot cosmic rays and other debris at us, which we then absorb. And because our magnetic field is been weakening and we're going into the grand solar minimum we're going to be exposed to more cosmetic uh, cosmic rays moving forward and more dangerous electron bombardment and proton storms take a look at this coronal hole this is just an amazing uh sun that's for being a cold sun going into a cold phase the activity here is amazing this is about to turn around and come to interact with us in the next few days What does that mean for us with weather? Well, they're predicting the 27th Wednesday for this hurricane to be right offshore in North Carolina, which could intensify. If there's a geomagnetic storm on Earth and geomagnetic activity affects this storm, these two storms could have different paths moving forward. So we need to keep an eye on this. And the one other thing I want to show you, because this, this takes us all out to Thursday. So if Thursday we're in geomagnetic storm, this could curve this back in 
by giving this strength and changing the whole dynamics of this entire system. So we have to keep an eye on this because we have a huge window for change in this hurricane. And it could be a potential landfall anywhere here on the East Coast. So we'll have to watch it. Stay tuned to the channel. Another thing I want to point out is the ring of fire is still reverberating ever so slightly. It's been reduced since the last time that that spot has been around and kicked off the major earthquakes here in Mexico. And then we saw the slurry of earthquakes here um, in California along the Cascadia Fault just the other day right here in this fracture zone. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. I also did a video earlier on what's happening with the lithospheric flexure here in Brazil. And we have a really good sequence of quakes here where the Juan de Fuca plate is pushing underneath of the South American plate. And a good example is this earthquake that went off today at a really deep depth of 261.5 kilometers, um, showing that the plate motion is, be is quite drastic in this region. And it would make sense that there is a lithospheric bulge happening over here, causing the sea level to drain. So all that being said, I'll have links to all this information at the bottom. And take a look at these videos. They're fantastic. I'll have links to these. It's great to get to know your son and how to watch it. I suggest that you all get Suspicious Observer's Disaster Prediction app because it is one of the greatest apps in giving you instant information on major solar outbursts. The last time we had an X10, I knew immediately. I was able to get secure my supplies and to actually assess how bad the solar storm was potentially going to be. And I knew that it could go either way, 50-50. And we did get up to geomagnetic storm in K8. And we stayed there for 18 hours. Had it gone to K9 or 10, the world you live in would be different and we would not be watching this video. I hope you like the information you heard tonight. If you like what you see, please subscribe to our channel and share this information with like-minded individuals. Have a great night, everyone. Be safe.